Three people have been pulled out alive from the rubble of their home eight days after Nepal's devastating earthquake. The current death toll of more than 7,000 is likely to rise as entire villages have been destroyed and officials believe many more people have died. Nobody has come here, she says. Nobody has helped us. We're doing it all ourselves. We are eating whatever little we have. Another resident of the same remote village says, unless somebody comes with some relief or some help, we will die of hunger. What else can we say? At the village entrance, a wooden sign cobbled together from the debris of flattened homes begs for help. Some aid is trickling through, but the United Nations says vital relief supplies are being held up in customs. And the government has closed the capital's airport to large planes, it says, because of damage to the runway. Officials are increasingly worried about the spread of disease. 100,000 square metres of quake-hit areas have been sterilised by China's international search and rescue team. Its chief medical officer says... As the temperature rises and the bodies of victims and animals begin to decay, there is a high risk of a large-scale epidemic outbreak. Rescuers have recovered about 50 bodies from the popular trekking route in Langtang, which was hit by an avalanche. At least 200 other people, including villagers and trekkers, are still missing. Three people have been pulled out alive from the rubble of their home eight days after Nepal's devastating earthquake. The current death toll of more than 7,000 is likely to rise as entire villages have been destroyed and officials believe many more people have died. Nobody has come here, she says. Nobody has helped us. We're doing it all ourselves. We are eating whatever little we have. Another resident of the same remote village says, 